All right, we've got a tool haul. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. Hey, if you guys like watching pattern making videos and machine shop, uh, why don't you please consider subscribing? That way you can see more. One of the first things that I, that I wanted to show you here was uh, these little guys right here. They're, uh, it's not something that I made. Uh, they're 3D printed tool block holders for uh, the Loris type tool post. And this is, uh, you can see it's actually printed right in there for the OXA. And uh, they're all right. Let me find a block here real quick. There it goes. Slip right on there, but eh, they're a little bit sloppy for my taste. And uh, it barely hits the screw up here, actually. So I actually sent a message to the seller, and uh, he said he could modify this to fit a little tighter. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. It, it'll work fine. Um, I have some ideas about this, too. I might uh, try to make some of my own holders. Maybe we'll cast them up here. Huh? I don't know. You guys need tool block holders let me know and uh, we kind of have to check out the accuracy of this but uh, this is an mt3 mandrel so uh, this thing theoretically should be very straight and uh, you know including the tapers so that you can put it into your headstock or your tailstock and you can indicate off of this to test the alignment of the head to the bedways so uh, I had this lathe completely torn apart at one point and uh, bolted it back together. I know it, it's, it's really not a very accurate machine. And uh, this is one of the things that I wanted to do was to, to try to test that and make sure I got it all as straight as I can get it. Now, my OXA tool post, uh, it's a Chinese tool post. And the blocks and everything, I mean, it works pretty good. The knurlers, not so much. Uh, this style of knurler is kind of, it's pretty hard on the, the uh, cross slide nut. You know, you have to put a lot of pressure on here to put knurls into a piece of metal. And uh, I don't know, these are a little wobbly on the screws. It's, it's not very precise, uh, whatever. It's okay, it is what it is, um, but I went and picked up one of these guys here and I like this box actually it's got this little cutout but I bought a clamp style knurler and this is Chinese made too and you know everything's a little bit could have tighter tolerances here but it's not bad um, I think it'll probably work fine the knurls actually fit pretty decent onto the pins on this one but you can see this one here, all the stress is on the, the tool itself. It's nothing is transmitted to your cross light screw, really. So, and I like the size of this nut on here too. That's uh, it's pretty good. And I imagine probably I can go in here and I can probably put some shims maybe inside of some of this stuff to tighten up this block here a little bit on these things. But, eh, it's better than nothing, right? And it's a lot better than the other tool. And this comes with uh, several sets of knurls too. There's one on there. I think I got three sets of knurls. Yeah. Yep. Comes with three sets of knurls. And you got a little spot to put them. The box actually make a pretty decent place to store this thing too. So not too bad. Same time I ordered that. I ordered another uh, parting tool here. And this one's really thin. I think it's uh, maybe like a sixteenth of an inch or so. But I've only got one, and it's the one that has kind of a curved top to it. And the tool block doesn't seem to like that one. So this is uh, kind of like a T-shaped top here, or it's, I don't know, it's hollow ground on the sides a little bit, but it's flat on the top. So the next thing, I don't know if you guys have seen these, but this is a uh, MT2 uh, shank, and this is a machinable end on it. It's soft, right? So my plan is to um, make this into a, a tailstock die holder. And that's gonna be a project kind of coming down the line here pretty soon, right? Hopefully before the end of the year. All right, guys, those are some of the things that I've got kind of going on. Uh, I know it's been quite a while since I've been able to get out here into the shop, so hopefully I can start making some more videos. 
All right, guys, if you enjoy these kind of videos, you like seeing machines being resurrected, pulled out of the scrapyard, uh, why don't you consider subscribing and uh, maybe even support my Patreon channel. Uh, it'll certainly help pay for all the little supplies and stuff that I need. And it doesn't take much, you know, every little bit helps. See you guys around.